Hey guys, welcome back to Gamer Time. So, last night at 4 o'clock in the morning, got woken up to my son throwing up in his bed. Yeah. Which he was cuddly that night, but which usually means he doesn't feel good, but he wasn't running temperature, he ate normal. Normally when he doesn't feel good, he like whines a lot. Wasn't doing any of that. But got woken up to that to 4 o'clock in the morning all over the bed so I had to change everything the mattress pad the sheets pillow everything so after I took care of that I had to get him to calm down of course because he was upset he wasn't just upset because his bed he was upset because we told him he wasn't going to school the next day and he, my kid loves school so he was very upset about that my wife had to miss work today to take care of him but luckily I'm off work early today and I'm off work tomorrow so she can go to work and I can take care of him tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to play some retro. I'm thinking maybe Sega Genesis, maybe PlayStation 1 tomorrow. Definitely going old school retro tomorrow. Playing games. I uh, was playing my 3DS last night a little bit. Because uh, Operation Kill Screen had their... Uh, they were going to have Mario Kart 7. Where everybody could play Mario Kart 7 together. In the YouTube community group. It's the first time I've ever had a communication error... And I had it twice in a row. So I reset my wireless internet and it's fine now. Because sometimes wireless internet, you know, gets goofy where it just it slows down for no apparent reason and you have to reset it. Doesn't happen very often. Once what? Once every couple months maybe I have to do it. So and my 3DS is almost dead anyway, so it's charging right now. Which I must admit I didn't think I'd be playing Mario Kart in my 3DS as much as I do. Really love that game. The other cool thing I saw was that uh, Hasbro announced 2012-2013 renewals and new shows for The Hub, so they renewed Transformers Prime for a third season, which is good because I think it takes at least three seasons to let the show grow and the toys become popular. And hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully they learn from the, that they don't do what they do every time a movie comes out, which is like right a year before the movie comes out. They don't have any Transformers show on TV, no, no new toy line, and they just do movies. Hopefully they learn you can have the movie, the movie toys, and the regular cartoon at the same time. Because a lot of collectors of Transformers actually don't like the movie toys. I don't particularly care for the movie toys. I like the more cartoon ones, but hey, each their own. And they're bringing back the Care Bears next year. CGI animation, which is kind of... I know they've done movies, but I'm surprised they're bringing that back. They're also bringing back Duel Masters, which I never really got into that show. So that's really cool. Uh, myself today, I'm going to be spending a lot of time trying to watch videos to get everything together for YouTube gaming community for to have recorded tomorrow on my Trouble Eight Three Five channel because the things I want to talk about and views I want to shout out, and I need to get that together. It's been a long time since I've done one, and I want to get another one done. Uh, in a different format than I've usually done it. Be interesting to see how that goes. And uh, yesterday was funny. Apple announces the iPad 3 and the new Apple TV. And man, that iPad 3 looks nice. I'll be honest. I don't know what it is about an Apple product, but every time they show a new one, you really, like, you look at it, you, you watch their keynote, and you go, wow, I really want that thing. I mean, the screen resolution of that thing is insane. You know, and this is what led me and my friends on Skype having a, a debate yesterday about <clears throat> is the tablet going to replace the PC and the laptop? Listen, the PC is already <coughs> on its way out. In a sense, that it's going to become a niche thing. It's not going to completely go away, but the PC, for the most part, is most people aren't using it anymore. I w I've been using a laptop for a couple years now. I don't use a desktop anymore. But the tablet's going to eventually replace the laptop. It's it's right there in succession. Sometimes it takes a long time for the next thing to take over. But everybody I know, regular person I know, they're not talking about getting a PC. They're not talking about getting a laptop. They're talking about getting a tablet. Because most regular people go to Facebook, go to Twitter, check email. They don't really do a lot of intensive stuff that requires the laptop or the PC. And that's why they're all getting it. That it, We're looking, truthfully... Five years, I think the tablet's going to re replace the, the laptop. That they're already up to quad 
core processing in these tablets and once they get these things a little more powerful they're going to be able to run basically regular style PC games and basically just be plugging some kind of controller into it that that's kind of the future and I know again like all things as older people don't exactly like that I mean like I don't like the fact that video games are eventually going to go digital but it's eventually going to happen I mean movies that's the next thing they'll, they'll be totally digital here in 10 years there won't be no format for movies that all be digital most people I know either use Netflix in general they don't really buy blu-rays anymore so but no that's all I've been doing it maybe I'll go get a new retro game this weekend or something but that's really it's all been going on today not too exciting today to be honest so the fact it's windy outside nope, that's about it talk to you guys soon